I want to know what you guys think about the future of California. Sure. Uh, do you think, do you see any sort of change coming in the future? Do you think events like this are going to, because I've seen a lot of, you know, I think we all noticed it's a little, it's skewed a little bit liberal, this event. <laughs> but, uh, the, but you also saw a lot of uh, those liberals being exposed to people like Ann Coulter speaking today, Ben, Larry, Brock. So do you think, do you see any kind of uh, change coming for California? I always say I have a, a, a two-step plan for California. Uh, keep the illegal aliens, deport the liberals. <laughs> I, like it. I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer your question. You look at the registration, it's almost three to one now, Democrat versus... Uh, versus uh, Republicans. Uh, we have porous borders. Uh, we're giving illegal aliens the right to uh, get driver's licenses, to, 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 uh, to get in-state tuition, to obviously enroll in college, uh, to, to, to actually practice law in California. Uh, this is a left, left, left-wing state, the most left-wing state in the union, even more left-wing than, than Massachusetts. There isn't a single Republican elected uh, statewide. I don't see it changing anytime soon, do you? No, and this is why my, my actual plan is to buy desert land out in the Mojave and then, you know, there's a San Andreas fault line. You also have the movie Superman. And, uh, and if, 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 a, if a missile hits right in the right place, then all of that becomes water for a property. Um, but aside from that... <laughs> but, aside from that. Aside from that, no, it's, it, it, uh, there is... Okay, so there's the, the short-term plan and the long-term plan. One is that the, the short-term plan is people have a miraculous awakening and realize everything they've been doing for the last thousand years is awful. Um, and, and by the way, I don't think that that is completely out of the realm of possibility if the crime rates continue to rise. Because you will see Republicans elected in heavy Democrat areas if crime gets bad enough, right? Rudy Giuliani won in New York with terrible crime because the city had turned into a crap hole. You could see the same thing happen in California. I told Neil Kashkari to run on a crime and he didn't do it. It wouldn't help them that much, but it would help them a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and so that would actually help because crime rates are headed the wrong way. Um, but the long-term plan is that liberals are like locusts, leftists are like locusts. They go to all the nice right-wing areas uh, and then they prey on the fact that they're economically viable and they proceed to bring all of their crappy values and destroy those areas, and then the right wing moves into increasingly less nice territory. So California used to be a red state, then everybody moved to Texas, which is hotter and more humid and has less waterfront. And then they will eventually move to Montana, and they'll follow us up to Montana. Eventually, it'll be like a crop circle. Eventually, we'll come back around to California because it will be completely bereft and deserted, and Republicans will reoccupy California again. But uh, you know, I'll be... It, 80 by that point, but it's, it, yeah, there's not a lot of so, hope. So there's hope. They, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, there, there's, have you ever seen those, those depressive posters that people put these optimistic posters up on their walls all the time at offices? And so they have these depressive posters, and, and my favorite one is, uh, is there's one that shows a picture of a, of a sinking ship, and it says pessimism. Perhaps your life was only lived to serve as warning to others. That's, <laughs> that's California. Yeah, my, my, my personal thought on this uh, as to the future of, of California is that I agree with both of them. Uh, nothing will change except if there is a crisis. And that is true for all of our lives, right? When, when you think about it, nothing really changes in your life unless there's a crisis that demands you to change. And that may be the crime rate that Ben was just talking about. Um, and and I, I fear for California for the exact same reasons and, and uh, also think that there's that cycle that Ben was just talking about. Well, listen, I, I think that's all the the time we have, and I want to thank uh, Ben Shapiro and Larry Elder for, for being part of it. Stick around. <laughs>